Take it minute by minute, moment by moment, because if I was showered out, I miss Luna hopping around the house. I miss everything. Miss getting up in the morning, and there she is, running around the house. She would hop on everything, play with everything. She loved my hair ties. She loved plastic bags. She was a very entertaining, playful kitty kitty. She was a warrior. She was a fighter. She, you know Elsa, she's not exactly, you know. So for Lulu to be able to figure out a way in this world with Kiwi and Elsa, and you know Daddy, I made sure I looked out for her. I made sure I protected her, and I made sure she had her place in this household, that's for sure. You know me. I would honor Lulu, and I'd make sure that she would be in the house. She had a swagger. She knew it was her house. She knew it was her place. And of course, Elsa Lada. Come here, baby. She's been, well, you know Elsa. She's been very depressed, too, like her daddy. We all cope in our own unique ways. And Elsa now has a donut she carries around the house for emotional support. I just cuddle up on her dad's lap. So thank you, Lulu. You definitely changed my life. And Elsa Lana, I love you. All my friends out there, Deborah, Tanya, Logan, Maria, thank you all. Ladies History Month, Carla Bray and Nicole Briscoe, Sprague, all the beautiful, hardworking Mama Citas out there, Kelly Breen, Carla Brea. Gretchen Whitmore, you know, thank God it's spring break so we can take until next Monday to rest, relax, heal, and honor the memory of Lulu, Luna Kuma Mori because it is a tragic, heartbreaking situation. And I wanted to say cheers, Luna Puma. You were quite a perfect fit to this household. And this was your big sister, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Al Solana, we love you. Sons of Liberty Pride.